Hi, I'm Richard Swinton and I represent a group here in the Northern Rivers that is looking at setting up a pilot plant to store surplus electrical energy from renewable systems and store it as gas and then return it as electricity or find uses for the gas as required. In Germany at the moment, there are large uh, districts that are already producing more renewable energy than they can actually use at the time. And uh, this is meaning that a lot of people are now exploring different ways of storing that energy. And the gas can be used in a number of different ways and eventually used to uh, return as electricity by driving turbines, just like an ordinary gas turbine generating system. The way the system works is, first of all, you have the renewable energy operating the house, the household systems and the community systems. But the surplus energy is diverted and used for electrolysis, where you actually use the electricity to split water into hydrogen and oxygen. The oxygen is released, the hydrogen is kept. This process involves a gas storage technique and the way it works is this. The surplus electricity that's not being used during the day when it's being produced is used to, through electrolysis to split water into hydrogen and oxygen. The oxygen is released, the hydrogen passes through into the next part, stage of the process. At the same time we have biogas being generated and it can be generated from a number of sources. It can be generated from sewerage treatment plants, from landfill sites, it can also be generated from digesters which deliberately uh, use organic material to produce methane. The methane that comes out of these processes is always relatively poor quality. From a digester, for example, you're talking about 65% methane and 35% carbon dioxide. Once you feed this into a methanation process, which combines the hydrogen from the electrolysis process using heat and catalysts, what it does is it splits the carbon dioxide, joins the carbon with the hydrogen. It's a process that's used already in fertilizer plants and in the production of ammonia. So it's a fairly simple and reliable process. The output from that is 97% pure methane, which is as good as you'll get from carbon, uh, from coal seam gas projects without any of the, the hassles, the environment, or the introduction of fossil carbon into the system. So this 97% pure methane is then stored, it can be stored in simple uh, storage tanks and uh, when you need it you can either use it for directly as heat um, or you can use it to drive a generator, a gas turbine generator, to produce surplus electricity. So the group here is importing from Germany a containerized version of the, uh, the system in a standard 20 foot shipping container and this will combine the electrolysis process and the methanation process. The inputs will be fed into it and the output will be our 97% methane which we can then use to recycle as electricity if we wish.